know that a tiny little insect can cause stubbing damage on a plant like Laura Petalum? They're called gall mites, and they're the topic of our two minute pest. Tom, look how pretty the Laura Petalum is. It is beautiful in that specimen. <laughs> it is. And then look at this damage. And yeah. it's really, you come out and you see that, you really would be shocked. I, I, think. I think what we normally have to point out there, by it, it's, it's a you know, contortion, a uh, stubbing back of the little shoots there that's a real problem. It really is. Yeah. Like a proliferation of growth yeah. all in one spot. I guess the mites are there, you know, with their piercing, sucking mouth parts and just damaging the tissue. So all they do is proliferate, like you said, and form these little areas here. And, uh, and what other plants besides? I see it on Lorpetalum. Yep, uh, crepe myrtles and roses. Ligustrum. And Ligustrum and all it. those. And what you have to do is really look at it. It takes time to really notice what's happening and that you need to look up there and you look for these little stunted areas, what I call them, mm -hmm. and you aren't going to see the mites. They're too small. They're too tiny. Yeah, very, very small. Embedded in the tissue. And, and in there. So you can send it off to the university. Uh, sometimes the extension offices, they can tell you uh, what's in there. But you're going to need to know how to control it also, and that becomes a real difficult uh, It part. is real difficult. And I should just mention that there are some other things that can cause this similar damage. Yeah. There are some diseases that can cause galling. Herbicides. And herbicide damage. So you might want to be sure, but if it's a certain plant and it looks like that, I probably would assume mites. Yeah, and you could call the extension office and ask if there's any mite problems on them or things like mm -hmm. that, because I get them on my peppers and it'll cause the leaves to curl. And if I have that type of situation, I use the insecticidal soaps or possibly neem oil or one of the other oil sprays. And you just gotta make sure that you really soak these areas mm -hmm. here with the spray in order to get them under and control. And it's gotta grow out of it too, out of this growth regulator activity. So mm -hmm. it's, it, it doesn't happen right away. No, it will over time. And mm -hmm. eventually you can get the plant back looking like this, but it's gonna take some time to get it done. Well, now you know that there's a little tiny insect that can cause such severe damage and some ways to manage it.